In today's video, I'm going to be making vegan ice cream mochi. I was inspired to make these from hearing about the craze currently happening here in the UK for ice cream mochi. I'm mainly going to be making mochi from scratch, but using ready-made vegan chocolate ice cream from Oatly. Starting off, I need to make some glutinous rice flour, so I'm going to blend some rice into as fine a powder I can, then sifting it to remove the larger pieces. I ran the leftover larger pieces through the blender a few more times to try to get the most of them out of my rice, but I was still left with a tiny bit of waste. I ended up with about 200 grams of rice powder, so I added about 150 grams of sugar, powdered sugar works best, and just a little more than 200 grams of water. I mix that all together thoroughly until completely smooth, and using my silicone spatula I'm wiping down the sides of the bowl, then I'm going to cover the bowl with plastic wrap. Make sure you're using a microwave safe bowl here, since we're going to be using the microwave to cook this. In one minute increments, cook the mochi in the microwave at highest power, making sure to take the mochi out in between to mix it well, before putting it back in for another minute. I had to repeat this process a few times and also add extra bits of water before my mochi was ready. Once the mochi is cooked, I'm laying out a sheet of baking paper and heavily flouring it with cornstarch to stop the mochi from sticking to everything. I'm dumping the mochi out then flouring again with cornstarch. I'm also covering my rolling pin with cornstarch. I'm rolling out my mochi dough until I reach a thickness that I'm happy with. It's up to you how thick you, or thin you want the mochi to be around the ice cream. Because we use the sheet of baking paper, it makes the next step super easy. I'm just sliding the whole sheet onto a tray, then putting it in the fridge for a few minutes to cool off. A few minutes later and the mochi is cooled off and we can cut our mochi wrappers. I didn't have a cookie cutter big enough for this, so I asked my sister to 3D print one for me, and it turned out perfect. I'll probably ask her to print some more in different sizes. I managed to cut out about 6 circles from my mochi sheet, which is perfect since I prepped 6 ice cream balls yesterday. I used an ice cream scooper to form these small balls of ice cream, trying my best to avoid air gaps. A little tip is to do each ball one at a time, taking each ice cream ball out of the freezer one at a time so you don't end up with mushy melted ice cream. Now I'm just going to grab each mochi wrapper, wipe off as much of the cornstarch as possible from the inside, placing the ice cream in the wrapper and pulling the sides, then pinching them together to close up the mochi ice cream. Then with a small sheet of plastic wrap, cover the mochi ball and twist the ends to even out the shape. These will go straight back in the freezer for a few more hours in the plastic wrap to harden up again. Rinse and repeat for all your ice cream balls. It's the next day and my ice cream mochis are completely frozen again, it's time to see how they turned out. I'm taking one out, letting it sit for a minute or two for the outside to soften up a little bit. These turned out a lot better than I expected and they were delicious. The sugar content of the mochi means the outside stays soft even when fresh out of the freezer. And the thinner mochi wrappings means it's not a jaw exercise trying to chew up the mochi. If you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe and hit the like and bell button to be notified when I upload a new video. You can also check out my TikTok and Instagram at the links in my bio.